I want to go to our, our lightning round and uh, ask each of you uh, some brief, uh, fun, uh, yes or no question. Uh, starting with Bernie Krause, uh, some environmentalists can be righteous and annoying. Yes or no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None in this room. None that you, yeah, it you, sounds like you know some. Um, Jason Mark, some environmentalists are against everything. Yes. Um, <laughs> Stop the madness. Yeah. Uh, Tanya Peterson, zoos are to nature as Pringles are to food. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to say no to that. <laughs> uh, Greg, Greg, where did clever. you get these? <laughs> oh, I you have a drink upstairs and make them up. Yeah, um, um, I do like Pringles, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading these earlier, and several of the uh, crew said, oh, Pringles, yes. Um, uh, Jason Mark, zoos and aquariums educate children and give them a chance to see and understand animals they'd never otherwise see. Yes. Um, Tanya Peterson, it, it is offensive for circuses and marine entertainment parks to force animals into mimicking human behavior, dolphins that kiss people and elephants that ride bicycles. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tanya Peterson, at the grocery store, do you select free-range eggs and meat? Uh, yes, I rarely eat meat, but uh, when you yes, do. when I do, when I have company. <laughs> uh, Bernie Krause, are you vegetarian? No. Jason Mark? No. I'm not either. Well, 80% of the time. Um, Jason Mark, some people in your generation consider climate impacts when deciding how many children to have. Yeah. Would you? I, I am. Yeah, it's, a, it's an open conversation on my family still, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm committed to one and done. And you have a young child. Yes. And that's quite a thing to not have a sibling for that child. To yeah, it's a big choice. I mean, in some ways, it's a sacrifice for, for my daughter to, to not have a sibling. But I think it's, it, you know, we've got to find a way to plateau and stabilize and then reduce human population. So I, I, think, it's the, um, I think it's the sounder choice for me. My son has two best friends. Each of them are only children. So best, single children can have great relationships and great, uh, great friends. Uh, uh, Tanya Peterson, selling licenses to kill big game is a good way to generate money for their preservation. <laughs> no, I strongly disagree with that. Um, Tanya, animals living free are more content than la animals living in captivity. Captive animals pay a price for helping educate people. Uh, you know, I would say it depends. Uh, you know, the animals in the wild suffer from drought, uh, starvation, poaching. Uh, you know, we have animals at the zoo living much longer than animals in the wild, so it certainly depends on the situation. So animals in the zoo get room service, so that's okay. Um, <laughs> Bernie Krause, you have played Sounds of Nature to get your wife in a romantic mood. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> you're the sound guy, your wife's here, so, you know. And we should ask she, her. <laughs> and, can you, and can you sell those CDs for other, in, in the audience? You know? Cat uh, is sitting right there. <laughs> people on the, on the radio can't see you blushing. <laughs>